For an employee to have problem solving skills is going to separate them from the monotony of the typical employee that does just the bare minimum and only what they're told. Being able to think out of the box ties into, ties into that really well. Like so, Sometimes you have to be able to say, oh I know this part is made to do this and we need something that does this. I can kind of combine the two things and, and get what I need done. Being a professional is everything. It's more important than the technical skills that you bring to the table. Uh, if you can't be a professional employee, someone with good character, then you're really not all that valuable to that employer and that team that you're a participant in. How you interact with people is how you're going to create business, how you're going to um, be able to sustain working in the field uh, with whoever you're working with. As an employee, you have to be courteous and respectful to your employers because they're not going to want to work with you if you're not. If you, you're know, rude to them, how do they think that you're going to treat their customers? Dressing appropriately is highly important in the trades. For safety reasons, there are certain requirements, whether it's PPE, uniforms, identification, but then also for professional reasons. If you're working directly with clients, directly with customers, you have to be dressed professionally so that you deliver a, a great first impression with that person. In the trades, critical thinking is a large part of the day-to-day -day tasks. Critical thinkers will excel farther than people who struggle with critical thinking. All throughout history in America, we've been founded on innovation. It's how markets are filled. It's how entrepreneurship becomes profitable. As you grow through life, you know, innovation is what's going to breed um, opportunity. Don't be afraid to make the suggestions. Don't be afraid to voice your opinion, but always consider where you are, always be humble with your suggestions and realize your role in the team. So I've got a guy who I hired just to be you know, a mechanic and he rapidly became someone in you know, more of like a foreman or a leadership position where he's got guys that work with him but definitely under him. And he's the guy I call to say, hey today I want this done, today I want that done. He just exhibited those qualities and was able to think on his feet and lead so he became a leader. And of course, that means, you know, more money for him. Communicating with individuals is key to be able to understand what they want from you so that you can solve their problems. Communication is everything. Being a good communicator is above and beyond the technical skills that you learn in the trades. For safety reasons, for efficiency reasons, you have to be able to communicate. Typically, most problems spawn from people's inability to communicate. Everyone thinks that people's skills are stupid, but in reality, your ability to work with others, read the room, listen and realize who you're talking to versus what you're trying to say. Sometimes it's more important to listen to the person that you're trying to deliver a message to than it is to actually uh, speak your mind. Everybody's got to work together and you know understand the main goal. Company stays in business, company makes money, and then everybody that works there gets to make money. There's no company, you know, there's no job. You have to show that you want to do it, that you want to be out there, that you want to work. You're only going to get rewarded for and compensated for what you do. Things will come up in your day-to-day -day tasks that make you question why you're doing things, why you have to do certain things, why are you aren't getting your way, and it's that strong work ethic that keeps you moving forward in the right direction with a positive attitude. If you, you know, get a job with me doing HVAC and you don't necessarily know the trade that well, but you want to learn, but you can show up on time, everybody knows how to do that. Whether or not you're disciplined enough to apply it is one thing. Um, if you take the little menial jobs like sweeping up or organizing the shop and maybe you go a little bit above and beyond, then that's huge. It's noticeable. That shows your employer that I'm someone that you should invest more into. More time, you know, more money. Strong work ethic is like, is really that glue that ties it all together for a well-rounded individual. I mean, you can be socially, um, you know, a great social butterfly. You communicate well with people, you respect people but that only gets you so far and uh, hard work is really what's going to be able to tie it all together and, and get you that extra mile. It's applying everything that you're learning with those soft skills into the bread and butter of the work.